What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Stock Hustle channel with your boy, William. Today is Tuesday morning, October 5th. So the other day I posted a video early, early in the morning, and you guys seem to have responded to it well, uh, signifying or indicating to me this is what you guys would prefer to see. So uh, I did go ahead and follow up with another morning video for you guys uh, in relation to an option play that I did participate in based on an alert I did get from a usual whales. And I'm also going to give you the reasons behind why I chose to participate in this option specific play. So as always, guys, please keep into consideration. This is financial education, not financial advice. That is super, super important to take note of. Again, I'm simply trying to plant an idea of ways you can play the stock market. By any means, is this telling you to go out and play uh, the stock market based on a YouTube video that you see out on the Internet, right? Again, please do your own research. Please look into the plays. Please study the charts. Please try to learn the fundamentals as I have tried to teach on this channel so that you don't get hustled in the stock market and instead you can go out and hustle yourself some extra dollars for you, your family, or for whatever financial goals you have in mind, right? As always. So let's get into it. <clears throat> as you guys do see from the chart, this is Antero Resources Corporation. Now, first and foremost, this is probably the biggest damn cup and handle I have ever seen, right? The only last icing on the cake is we need to verify the candle's touch. Let me teach you a quick trick with Think or Swim, how you can do that. Go over here to the left side, try to find essentially some touch points where the candles essentially line up, right? Because again, when you're setting uh, support and resistance, you want to base it on specific touch points. So I see one right here, and I'm doing this live for you guys to see that this is no BS. So I uh, turn the extension on to the left, want the price on the right, and we set it to white so it makes it clearly visible to go along with the rest of them. Then you zoom in over here on the right side of this big ass cup, and what do we see? Look at that. A perfect lineup all the way from across the way after a three year gap. First and foremost, that is a super bullish sign for me. Uh, I like seeing cup and handles. All we need is a little dip here to the right side and essentially that does formulate a perfect cup and handle which those have a tendency to skyrocket if you have not seen one in the market please do keep into consideration also what type of play this is which will give you a little bit more understanding as to why i am so heavily convicted in this play um, so specifically right from the get i'll give you preface unusual wells did send out an alert for this specific company for those of you that don't know what this company specifically is, we can go into the breakdown of fundamentals in Thicker Swim. Essentially, this company is engaged in the exploration, development, and acquisition of natural gas, natural gas liquids, NGLs, and oil properties located in the Appalachian Basin, so on the east coast of the United States. The company segments include the exploration, development, and production of natural gas, NGLs, and oil gathering and processing water handling and treatment and marketing of excess firm transportation capacity so this is a natural gas play energy play right remember what is going on in the market currently with energy europe is currently in a shortage and russia is in a slump so those are two bad catalysts for them really bullish for us especially for a company in the united states where we simply do not have a shortage of natural gas matter of fact based on people that i've spoken to that are working in the industry of oil and natural gas we have an abundance of natural gas now take a look at the ratings up here in thinkorswim I, I don't necessarily use these i just reference them right so as you see market edge does have a long rating uh cfra has a four star rating the street which is a bunch of idiots anyway has a hold and then the research team has a reduce rating on it specifically down here you have the financials if you're interested in looking at financials I'm not interested in the financials being that this is an option play for me, which means that potentially I'm either going to play this for a week, uh, two weeks, or essentially less than 30 days. Potentially, uh, if I'm doing a leap, I always make sure that you guys preface know that. But uh, Thinkorswim does have a pretty cool tool called Market Edge, which you go in here, and essentially what it does is it breaks down the chart for you to give you indications or indicator and ratings of what they feel this play is rated. This is a long play, meaning a long-term hold, upgraded just recently in the last week of September. A zero rating essentially is neutral with a power rating of bullish, which means they have bullish sentiment behind this chart specifically, right? If you go down a little further, it gives you further analysis into the MACD. As always, guys, I always have my indicators that are my favorites down below. As you see, the MACD is in this huge buying 
buying period that is on a run up, not looking like it's going to come down anytime soon. Honestly, I wish I would have found it down here about the middle of August. That would have been even better. Imagine an option play played like that on a 35 or 45 day spread expiration. Oh man, that would have been so nice to cash in. But you don't always catch them on that, right? Looking at the RSI, we are essentially in overbought territory and definitely crossed over. If you're looking at our average true range, you are looking at a swing of essentially $1.03. Or for those of you that heavily like to double it, that is a $2.06 swing. Now, let's get into specifically outside of that and the chart and what it's showing us. Again, remember, huge cup of handle. That's so nice. I like looking at stuff like this. I like when charts just line up. I'm OCD in a way, so to me, this is heaven. But anyway, let's get into it. <coughs> the alert, as you guys do see here, was specifically here, was for the $24 call for AR, uh, which takes you here, uh, AR 2021, October 19, $24 call, underlying at $20.36. Looks like today uh, we did close a little higher at $20.42. Uh, this offer had a delta of 0.36. As you guys do see from historic volume and open interest, you see this spike on October the 4th, 1,313 volume over 92 open interest. Taking a look at the dark pool trades, keep your eye on that 1.1 million at the top when the price was trading at $21,000 or $21 at 50,000 shares. 50, shares. You have some 687,000, 552 or 525, excuse me, 333, and then only one sell today for 388,000 in the dark pool. Again, very bullish from that perspective. Again, looking at the stock analysis you see here, every minute breakdown of a chart is rated at a buy. I already went through them, the one, the five, the 15, the 30, the one hour, the four, or the two hour, the four hour. And the one I favor the most, which you usually guys see me trade on, is the one day has a strong buy, right? So that's essentially that. Going into this further, I did go ahead and already pull the flow specifically. As you see from the breakdown of the flow, no pre-fillings other than $5,000 premium. I try to weed out all the smaller premium amounts. Just makes it easier for analysis. Uh, but again, you can do this without a rating. You can do this at 10,000, 20,000, 15,000, 50,000, 100,000, whatever your preference is. Me, specifically, I like to weed out anything under 1,000. Generally gives me a better idea of an option I'm choosing to participate, especially for something so close. Essentially, we're only going to potentially hold this maybe a week or two at max if we do get a nice push to the upside and then flip it again with option plays guys for those of you that are new to options you don't ever have to hold these till expiration uh, once you are up and you are comfortable with your earnings you are always more than welcome to sell it uh, I frequently tell people you don't always have to hit grand slams on every single option play that you participate in uh, you can get some base hits and become more profitable in the end if you get 50 base hits versus only getting one or two home runs obviously the 50 base hits are going to produce more for your pocket and for your finances long term but again looking at the overall perspective you see call premium has 7.5 million dollars put premium only has 769,000. going into the chart breakdown charts and pies look pretty good with exception to vol to call call to put was the only one and asked to bid however when you look at this breakdown specifically october 15th you see that it is bullish with 4.2 million puts 3.6 million going down into the strikes which is what interests me the most you see that the $21 had 3.3 million dollars on it compared to puts at 2.4 so in relation to this call what else did I take a look at good question to ask right so I did go into the <coughs> Nasdaq filing to see the analysis research rating as you see it does carry a strong buy from Nasdaq currently sitting at 2133 estimated but take a look at the potential. As you see, um, based on analysts offering 12 month price target for AR in the last three months, the average price target is 21.33. Well, currently we are already at 20.42, so we're almost there, with a high estimate of 32 and a low estimate of 16. Well, let's take into consideration so what's going on in the world today. Bloomberg, European energy crisis is about to go global as gas prices soar. Reuters, European gas prices hit all-time highs as Russian flows slump. So, Russia's running out or not producing as much. Europe has an energy crisis, and we have an abundance. Ask yourself, with those two facts being stated in relation to what NASDAQ is saying here of a target of 32 or 16, looking at this chart, 
do you truly feel that this could potentially fall back down essentially to this 1552 support area or does it have a better tendency to run up based on what the chart is showing you over the last three years yes we did have a rundown and now we've been on a run up essentially over the last year and a half this is 2021 this is 2020 all of 2020 was essentially a consolidation period pushing up towards the end of 2020 and now all 2021 has been nothing but a run up or ar with that being in mind remember uh, i have the strong opinion that it would be more favored towards the 32 side especially with the european shortage it's not like we're going to leave them out in the cold all winter or we're not going to try to help as you guys always know uh, the U.S. of A always helps out anyone we possibly can, especially Europe being our allies, favored over Russia. We're more, more than likely going to be helping them out in one way, shape, or form with gas, so keep that in the back of your mind as well. So that's as far as the NASDAQ rating. I'll leave this link down in the description of the video as well. I did take a look at one additional thing. <clears throat> which was short interest. It does have a short position established with 454 million shares, or essentially $454 million, essentially uh, 23 or 25.6 million shares short. And you'll be happy to see that our favorite pal, Kenny and his degenerates, or Shitadel, are included <laughs> with a position of essentially 981,000 shares, increased 16.1%. No surprise there. Going into institutional ownership, I did also take a look at that because I like to see who owns what and when. And you will be very happy to see Vanguard and BlackRock, the two giants, are always included in everything. I swear, just about. But also, our my favorite, Rentec, which does have a 2.8 million share stake uh, for $42.95 million in this play. Specifically, when you were looking at the options, the target was for the 24 call. Specifically, I did already, as I stated from the start of the video, I did already play this option. I am effectively in it. As you see here, I did buy the November 19th, 2021 call option, giving me control of 100 shares. Uh, however, I played the $21 strike. For those of you that are curious as to why, I'll give you that explanation real quick. If you go into the trades at the 24 for the November 19th, you see here, essentially you would be earning a 0.34 delta, as I've stated before in many, many videos before. I like to play 0.50 delta or better. I like to give myself at least a 50% chance of being profitable. As you do see here, at the $20 strike, it is 60.60, making $60 for every dollar that AR does go up, or essentially giving yourself an opportunity of 60% profitable or more. And I may go back tomorrow and buy some additional option contracts here at this 0.53, uh, which I feel is good, which is a $21 strike. Again, these are not break the bank options in my opinion. Anywhere from 200 to 215, you could probably get away with a 207, 208 and get accepted. For the other one, 245 to 260, you could easily put in a bid for 250, 252 and get accepted and take full control of that as well, saving yourself a couple bucks and enjoying potentially a 60% run up or 60% profitability or 60% <laughs> opportunity to be profitable or a 53% chance of being profitable on either of these two option contracts. Again, controlling essentially, in my case, be 200 shares if you choose to participate. It could be one, it could be two, it could be 10, right? To each their own, as they say. But uh, I think you guys get the point. Uh, again, if you have questions on anything that I showed you in the video, including drawing the trend line to this cup and handle that I see formulating, please leave them in the comments down below. As always, guys, you can always hit me up uh, on Twitter, preferably, because it, it doesn't fail, it doesn't crash. Uh, or IG <laughs> if it's working. Uh, otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as it does help with the channel's growth. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.